Have you got your Facebook account disabled and are looking for help? Then this is the right video for you as I will be talking about a few ways using which you can try to recover your disabled Facebook account. Hey everyone, you're watching getassist.net where I post troubleshooting videos and useful tutorials. Make sure to watch the video till the end as I will be explaining in detail what all you need to do to recover your disabled Facebook account. And now let's begin with the video. Alright, so when Facebook disables your account, you will get an error message like the one that you can see on the screen. Now here, Facebook gives you only two options. One is to download your information or if you think this was a mistake, you can visit the help center. But it can get it difficult for you to explore the help center and find the right help. So what I will suggest is just go to Google and type disabled Facebook account in the search box. Now here you will see the first link that says disabled accounts Facebook Health Center. So you simply have to open that. And here you will get some information about disabled accounts and why is my account disabled. So you can check the reasons for which the accounts get disabled. And the next paragraph says what can I do if my account has been disabled. So here you can read that if you think that your account was disabled by mistake, please use this form to request a review. So you can directly click on this link to get the form that you have to fill. So that's the form that you need to fill to recover your disabled account. And that's it says that my personal account was disabled. Now here you can go through the information that is provided that it says that if you think your account was disabled by mistake, you can enter the following information and then Facebook will consider your profile for review and you can submit more information here for up to 30 days after your account was disabled. Alright, so you only get 30 days after your account has been disabled to get it back. If that period is over, your account will get permanently disabled and you will no longer be able to request a review. So you have to submit this form. Now what you need to do is you just have to enter your login email address or mobile phone number, whatever is linked to your Facebook account. And after that, you have to type in your full name, whatever is listed on your Facebook account. So it should be the same name. And then you have to provide one ID in the JPEG format. All right. So you can also go through this information that is given about the IDs, what type of IDs are acceptable and what types of IDs are considered fake. And after that, once you are done submitting the information, you can simply click on send. Now, if you want to know what IDs are actually acceptable, there is a link for that. So I have already opened it. I will provide all the links in the description box so you can check that out from there. So uh, in this link, you will get information about what forms of ID does Facebook accept. All right. So here you can go through the entire information, uh, what type of government IDs are acceptable and what type of non-government IDs are acceptable. So uh, you can provide anything. For example, you can uh, submit your driving license, national identity card, passport, birth certificate and so on. So that's all the information you can go through about the IDs that you need to provide for your disabled Facebook. And once you're done submitting this appeal form, what you need to do, there are two more links that you can go through. So I have already opened those two forms. So I will provide these links as well in the description box. So now the second form says disabled ineligible. You can also fill this form if your account has been disabled by Facebook. Here you just need to provide your full name and then your date of birth. And in the additional info box, you can explain why or when your account got disabled. So you can simply mention that you haven't violated any of their guidelines or community standards but still you found your account disabled so you want it back so you can simply write this to them all right and yeah you can also provide your email address or phone number that is listed on your account so that they can contact you on that email address so after you have submitted after you have entered all the information you simply have to click on send so that's the second form that you can fill now for the third form this one is the form where you just need to enter your email address or mobile phone number that is linked to your disabled account. 
So make sure you have access to your email address or phone number so that whenever Facebook will reply you back, you will be able to check the instructions that you have to further follow to get your account back. And then you have to put in your full name that is there on your Facebook account and simply click on send. So these were the three forms that you can fill if you have found your Facebook account disabled for no reason. If you have made any severe violation, you are not going to get your account back. But only if it was a mistake from Facebook side, only then these forms are going to help you out. All right. And you can also check this link for what type of IDs that Facebook accept. So yeah, that was all the information I have. So that was about how you can try to recover your disabled Facebook account. Once you have submitted the appeal, you have to wait for a few hours for the reply and what are the next steps you need to take to recover your disabled Facebook account. If you have made a severe violation, you may not get your account back as your account would have got permanently disabled by Facebook. In that case, you may or may not get a reply from Facebook. Now let's talk about a few violations that can get your Facebook disabled anytime so that you can avoid them in future. The first thing is impersonating someone. If you are representing someone else and Facebook gets to know about it, this can get your account disabled. If you are continuously posting content on Facebook that violates its community guidelines or terms of use or if you are friend requesting too many people at once, all this can get your account disabled. Apart from that, if you are involved in illegal activities on Facebook, Facebook can disable your account anytime. There are several other factors that can be responsible for your disabled account. So just to be on the safer side, make sure you are not making any violations. So that was all for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. And if you want more of such videos, please do subscribe and leave all your queries, suggestions and feedback in the comment box down below. You can also visit my website that is getassist.net for more tech related content. And I will be back soon with a new video.